Hello, Aberyst with Learning and Teaching Conference. This is a quick video about making videos. Um, what I'm going to show you is using the screen capture software, in this case Kazam, to get a picture of the whole screen as a kind of dynamic, basically a recording of the screen. You set it going and you end up with a little thing in the icon in the corner. Um, then I'm going to show you how to use OpenShot. And what OpenShot will let you do is move together and bring together different video files uh, so you can pull them together to make a full presentation. Um, uh, I'm going to incorporate into this OpenShot file my little video that I recorded earlier, which was the screen capture one. And then I'm going to take that and bring it down from the main window to the timeline, which is at the bottom of the window, and that's the start of video editing. That's how it all fits together. Um, I'm also going to show you how to include a title in this video, um, which is going to involve just creating a new title and then telling it, saving it as a title file, and then deciding what the text has to be within that video title. Um, once you've got the title and you've got the videos, you can put them on the timeline and it all works out perfectly. Um, you might find, once you play it, um, that the title shows for too long or you might find that there's something you want to change about the settings um, one of the things you need to do when you're doing this quite a bit is take a look at the video and work out what you need to change um, but basically what we have now is a short video clip with a title in front of it and the title shows for a reasonable length of time not too long, not too short long enough for you to be able to read it um, short enough for people not to get too bored um, and that's basically the way you work with this software. You have to keep checking that it doesn't go on for too long and checking that it works okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is something slightly unusual. I'm going to do a demonstration of sound recording using something called Audacity, which is available for, I think, most operating systems. And whilst I'm doing it, because it's a bit dull, I'm also going to show you my um, webcam photo booth thing by putting a little picture of me down in the bottom. So there you are. I'm actually recording the audio for this using um, screen capture software, not Audacity. Um, but that's okay. Though it's always a bit weird making a video about making videos on a computer that you're using to make the videos. Anyway, here we go. Um, Audacity is really straightforward. You press record and you immediately see that there's some level stuff up here which tells you what's going on, and you get a visual representation of both channels of the sound going on as you speak. And those are really good indications that your microphone's working and so on. You can do loads of stuff with Audacity, but all I'm going to show you now is capturing, and I've done that. So we've got something there, and I press stop, finish the file, and then we'll do file, export, and I'm going to put it as an MP3 file, and I'm going to put it in my videos folder and I'm going to call it auconf short.mp3 uh, uh, okay uh, save um, no need for any of that job done so when we go back to openshot uh, we can add a file from the videos folder auconf short.mp3 and that just gives a sound file we can drag down onto the um, timeline if you want to have a sound file on the timeline. And that's that really. Okay. So now I'm capturing the last bit of this video. I'll give you the little window again. Um, and the aim of this last section, oh, I didn't mean to do that, is to let you see the kind of pulling it all together aspects. So what we've got here is we've got the video um, start start picture, which is the opening credits, then we've got a little bit about a screencast, then we've got um, an MP3 which I've recorded which is a kind of commentary on the first bits. So we've got a commentary for this bit so we don't actually need the sound on these bits. Um, we go along and here there's another um, open shot introduction. Um, we haven't got the sound turned on, on that one, in fact I can zoom out a bit. If you zoom out you can see the whole timeline um, quite clearly here. Uh, this bit here is the bit on um, doing the audio, and that does actually need the sound, so we can turn the sound on for that. And now I just need to add this particular little bit of video that I'm doing now, which also has sound on it. So 
um, I will add it and then I will export it and the export looks like this export video export to wherever you like I do web I go um, YouTube HD high quality and those are my standard settings here but basically it doesn't most video codecs are okay and if you look for a video codec that's optimized for YouTube then you'll probably be fine and if I had included this video I just click export video and we'd be ready to go but I haven't included this video yet so I'm going to stop this screencast include this video and then